in your book, you talk about your, your, your high school coach uh, having a big impact on you, and he had this nickname for you, Bubba. But you describe in the book that the pronunciation is, is maybe not what we would say just reading the word Bubba. So can you say for us how exactly, now that we have a little audio file us. going on you, can you lay it oh, on us? Wow. How, how did this guy say Bubba? What a question. Well, he was a, a former Yugoslavian national team player. So okay. he had that, like, and he probably and he smoked for many years. So he was like, coming <laughs> Yugoslavia in the smoke. It was really raspy. And, oh, man, I've never been asked to do this, but it was probably something like, Boba! 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 You know? I think I'm like, I was embarrassed to type it, because I think when you say Bubba nowadays, as I, you think of, like, you know, somebody Louisiana. from Louisiana yes. catching yes. an alligator for in his spare time. Um, but I, mine felt like much more endearing. Mine did not feel like that. I felt really cool having that name when I was, you know, 13 and 14. That's awesome. That's Anytime awesome. you can get a Yugoslavian international yelling at you, that's a big plus. Totally. Totally. And I will say kids now think their coaches are hard, man. You've never had a hard coach unless he was, you know, came from the old Yugoslavia and like fought his way out of the country to America. <laughs> yeah. So that was a, that was a good experience for me as a kid. That's good to have, especially if, as you say, you were born on third base. It's it's good to be exposed to folks who maybe weren't born on first base and still uh, or weren't born on third base, but still made it all the way around to home.